what's going on guys today we got another starter pack video if you are just starting ultimate team because today madden 24 is on xbox game pass so it's free for a lot more people a lot more accessible for a lot more people and you want to get started in ultimate team is this brand new starter pack the road to the super bowl bundle worth buying it's going to cost you 20 uh 22 bucks 22 bucks to buy this bundle so it's only going to be between these four packs right here um, i think the better two are going to be the air it out as well as the no fly zone i feel like you're able to get away with you know having worse guys up front and you want to have a good quarterback with a good solid tight end who's still very solid in this game over the running back and you know even andre reads a little bit outdated so we're gonna buy this pack i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and then we'll talk about we're, we're gonna build the team we're gonna talk about if it is actually worth the your 20 bucks to get started um is it a good starting point for you an ultimate team to kind of give you that slight head start in it's not really possible but try to at least get you closer to some of the players that have been playing since october or even august um that's kind of what this video is all about so i'm pretty much buying it so you guys don't have to and you guys can kind of see what it all looks like before we open the pack of course if you are new to the channel if you are just getting started in ultimate team this is a great spot to be hit that subscribe button turn those notifications we post gameplays tier list the best cards to buy right now really your one-stop shop for all of your madden 24 ultimate team information right here on the channel so head down there the subscribe button and turn on those notifications but let's just rip this pack wide open uh again 22 bucks if you have ea play if you don't it's gonna cost 25 but uh let's see what we got here so i'm probably gonna go air it out i'm gonna go with air it out and i'm gonna go with the um the uh the the db one so we're gonna go with the jordan love vernon davis pack and i think we're gonna be able to, be able to open them up open them up at different times or maybe this maybe we're over the offense first then the defense so let's see what's in this air it out pack looks like we're gonna get some a good offensive lineman again vernon davis and jordan love headline this pack vernon davis is a great card still has top end um still has top end tight end speed jordan love is a top end quarterback as far as how he plays in the game only problem with jordan love is he doesn't get the discounts that some of these new super bowl or aka quarterbacks are able to get so jordan love is gonna play fine for you um and let's see what else we get here we get devonta smith that wide receiver not great devin hester not great david moore is okay big legend animation we're gonna get will shield some zero chill guys Braden smith and charles cross is also pretty good with ap at running back so not bad not a bad pack not awful you're able to buy jordan love and vernon davis for fairly cheap but not bad i thought you'd maybe get some slightly better receivers in this pack because it is arid out right you'd expect to get like a better wide out but not awful not not awful okay and then for the defense christian harris obviously a good user at too tall decent off the edge but i'm gonna go with the deep out zone ko darius slay as well as the uh deep in zone ko jack tatum because i think if you are just getting started you really cannot be running man-to-man -man. you should be running zone coverage because you're not gonna have fast enough players or players with high enough man-to-man -man ratings in order to really run man-to-man -man. so i would go with the no fly zone and just try to work on those yes Deion sanders not bad Derek brooks could be a solid user for you again it's headlined by darius slay and jack tatum uh able to get deep out zone ko as well as deep in zone ko on tatum which is very very good let's see what else we get here we get some more playoffs this is actually a pretty good user uh i a fed to melafonwu is actually a good user on your defense if you want to go that route with the card some more team builders quinn and jefferson a keep to leave a little bit slow patrick willis could also be your user and we get a big uh yeah big most fear animation so not the best obviously the headline cards are the two ones you want to go for but is this even like a full defense it almost doesn't even feel like a full defense so let's build the team let's put it all into ultimate team and i'll get back with you guys in a second okay so here is the full lineup here's the offense you do get three 93 speed wide receivers which is definitely good enough to beat zone coverage in this game like these receivers aren't awful it's just the problem would be if you come across like man or match coverage where you have 98 potentially 99 speed wrists like like corners running with you it won't be, it'll be difficult for you to kind of get open and get separation with this team i think the offense is actually not that bad I, I really don't think it is even ap is a solid build 91 speed only but a good enough build again this is the air it out pack you could have had pacheco with 95 speed but i think uh probably going with the quarterback off rip probably makes more sense but um jordan love again jordan love obviously pretty good he does get to slinger one release which is, which is one of the definitely a top three release in the game um and you also can of course throw the x factors on him and do what you want to do with that card but uh, also he's able to get hot round master and set feet which is pretty good if you don't need a hot round master then you know you don't need to run it and you can still get set feet at a pretty good discount and things like that but obviously there's better discount ability qbs in the game right now so offensively 
this pack isn't bad. It, it's just like, if you're gonna spend the money on the game, I, like, I, there's really not a store offer that rivals it, but I feel like I would rather say, open up a bundle and try taking the coins. Cause you can probably build this team for fairly cheap. Like you probably could. And then on defense, you do get Deion Sanders, who's who's a solid like non-headliner card, 93 speed, can play man. You gotta move that zone coverage a little bit using strat cards or whatever. But slay with deep out zone KO. Obviously, there's value there too. So, you know, is the is buying the $22 starter pack worth it? I would say I would almost say no. I usually don't say no to these kind of things, but I don't I don't think it's worth it. The value is okay, but I feel like a lot of these cards you're looking to immediately replace. I would say on offense, you're looking to replace your running back. You're looking to replace the old line's probably fine. You're probably only trying to replace your running back. Maybe try to get one more man beating wide receiver with some good speed. Uh, maybe I would try to do that. And then on defense, you're trying to replace Talib. You're trying to replace Dion. Really isn't that good at this at this point of the year. So you're trying to replace Dion. You're trying to replace Talib. Um, you need safeties like Melifonwu is not good enough over the top. Jack Tatum's fine, so you're really only gonna stick with Jack Tatum and Darius Slay, and you wanna try to kind of replace everyone else. That's pretty much what it looks like for this defense. So it is pretty one-sided. If you want, you could just go out there and buy this air it out offense pack, and you'll probably be okay. Instead, you also spend that little bit of extra for the defense, but almost you could argue if you wanna do this, it's almost worth it just to spend that little extra, uh, to spend a little bit of extra amount in cash and go out there and um just buy the defense too because you, you do get a discount from doing the pack and the bundle compared to doing them individually so that's probably what i would say i'm um, sure if you really want to go crazy you could kind of mix and match the starter packs and get two and get air it out and the run and then the air and then the then the corners and the guys up front what was it called load the box or whatever you probably could do that but again even if you are just getting started i feel like you would rather go into the store try to test your luck with some of the special store offers use whatever coins you make from that and almost build a budget team that's kind of what i would say because this is pretty much like a budget team like vernon davis as a headliner card him going for about like 120k right now in game jordan love is pretty cheap too so you can even go get a guy like you know andrew luck to just to get you started and i feel like you could accumulate those coins a little bit faster but Miami spending a little bit extra but your team would be a little bit better and you have that chance to hit big in packs so if you're just getting started in ultimate team right now is buying this pack worth it my final answer would be no this is probably the first starter pack where I would say no I think at the current state of mutt where we are right now in ultimate team it, it, it the answer has to be no because you're going to come across playoff teams you're going to come across these crazy super bowl teams you're going to come across those kind of squads and you're not going to really stand a chance. And I would almost say if you are a fan of an NFL team, it might be better for you to honestly, I mean, it's not going to be great. It's actually, that's not a great option either to go out there and just buy the starter pack or buy one of the theme team starter packs. Probably not a, a good option either because unless they like lower the prices on these cards because the headliner cards, they simply can't play right now, but you will get a lot of chemistry and then you can kind of Go test your luck in packs and try to build whatever team you want 50 50 because again you're going to get plus two speed if you do build out a theme team 50 50 if you guys don't know how to build a theme team i made a video on the channel earlier in the year explaining everything about theme teams if you want to watch that video if you are confused um and also if you want to learn more learn more about madden or ultimate team i have some videos i made earlier this year um, that hopefully do explain some of the things for you guys but um you know what actually should we buy yeah let's buy um i'm just curious to see what the move the chains one looks like and for the sake of the video i'll open it for you guys i just want to see what's in here because the air it out one wasn't that great let me just scan through it real quick and kind of see what's in here alex mack some slightly better offensive lineman jameson williams actually okay this one actually might be better i think this one might be better because Kadarius tony i believe gets 93 speed right Kadarius oh 91 on Kadarius, not great but Jamison Williams is probably better than all those receivers on the air and out. The only difference is you just don't, you, you're not going to get Vernon Davis. But if you really want Vernon Davis, you can buy him for cheap. The 93 speed on Jamison at six foot two. Um, I was, I've been using this card in the current meta and he actually doesn't play bad. And Andre Reed, like he, he, he should be faster. He should be for sure. But I don't know. I think this one's probably, the move the chains on offense is probably better. Um, but I would probably still stick with the DBs uh, on the defensive back. So that's my two cents. Do what you want with that information. And of course, if you are new here, the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.